Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. It's now time for Today in History. And the story today is just taking us back to the year 2017. January 20th, it's the inauguration of President Donald Trump. Now, Donald John Trump is inaugurated as the 45th President of the United States in Washington, D.C. The event was the uh, 58th presidential inauguration, and it was a, on a rainy day, a rainy inauguration day, a crowd of supporters, many of them wearing Trump's distinctive red Make America Great Again caps, they gathered to watch that ceremony, which held on the west front of the Capitol building. A crowd's experts estimated that there were between 300,000 and 600,000 people that attended that inauguration. And, uh, you know, Trump was sworn in with his left hand and a pair of Bibles, his personal copy, and the Lincoln Bible. He became the oldest man to assume presidency and the first to have no previous record of government or military experience. His speech was the shortest inaugural address since Jimmy Carter's in 1977. By the end of the day, we see how Trump goes on to you know, become the most vocal president in the history of the US. <laughs> now, the inauguration, <laughs> very funny, right? The inauguration was accompanied by protests worldwide. A total of 233, 34 people were arrested, charged with rioting. Because remember when Donald Trump you know, came into power and his stance on you know, African countries and how so many people were doing skits online saying they're packing out of the US, Trump had very strong anti-immigration Law. And Osari Gig just can't help but laugh, you know, remembering the events of 2017, January 20th. Now, uh, at the end of the day, the Trumps greeted, the, oh, the Obamas greeted the Trumps, and uh, Melania presented the couple with a gift. There were 16.63 million viewers of Trump taking the oath of office and giving that inaugural address. He also signed a proclamation declaring his inauguration a national day of patriotic devotion. And today, January 20th, 2021, we know what's, uh, what will be happening uh, will be the inauguration of uh, President-elect Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Um, so that's what happened today in history. Yeah, a total of 234 people were arrested. You know, what, what I, you know, it, it's, it's a great memory, actually, because, um, you know, it, 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 was, it is the start, you know, of uh, four years of, you know, like you said, the most vocal president, but four years of, of just... America like we've never seen it, mm -hmm. United States like we've never seen it, presidency like we've never seen it, um, um, just chaos, you know, including on social media. Um, and there's so many, th you know, things that, you know, Donald Trump can be accused of, you know, that he wasn't necessarily charged with, you know, he became a person who basically said anything he liked on, you know, TV and on social media unverified, you know, didn't bother, you know, if they were truth or they were, you know, lies. He just went on and it was said so, it. It was so bad that I saw news sites that were dedicated to analyzing Trump's speeches and tweets yes. on social media. They would copy and paste his tweets and start to give you analysis of how much fake news misinformation were just yeah, there. It, it was terrible. It was anyway, terrible. Um, it ends today. Um, in yes. a few hours, I believe, uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be inaugurated as uh, the next, uh, you know, for the next four years in America. Presidency. So let's see how that goes. We'll be talking about that later and what it means to Africa and Nigeria. One year after this inauguration happened in 2018, it's a little sad news, but the Intercontinental Hotel in Kabul, Afghanistan, was attacked. Four or five gunmen attacked the hotel. It started around 9 p.m. that night, and it led to the death of about 40 uh, persons. It was a 12-hour-long battle that ended in the morning. Uh, the um, yes, like I said, it started around 9 p.m. They attacked the hotel with light weapons and rocket propelled grenades. It lasted all night. By morning, four attackers, 18 others, and 14 foreigners were killed. It also says that more than 160 persons were rescued from the hotel. Um, if you also look at the pictures and um, the stories from that event, uh, there were people who were tying bedsheets together to, you know, escape from the attack and, you know, survive. A lot of them did, luckily. Um, and, you know, of course, uh, rumors had it or, you know, the narrative really was that the attackers were targeting foreigners at the hotel. It was carried out by, initially thought to be carried out by the Pakistan-based Haqqani network. But later on, the Taliban claimed responsibility and warned 
um, Af Afghans, you know, to stay away from areas that were mostly crowded uh, by foreigners, foreign hotels and, and you know, any, and resorts and anywhere that had a lot of foreigners. Um, Afghans were want to stay away from those places so that they don't become victims. Um, the victims, of course, were 25 Afghanistan uh, persons, seven Ukrainians, uh, four from the United States of America, two Venezuelans, one German and one person from Kazakhstan. Um, earlier in the same year, there was a bomb blast sometime in May of 2018 that killed 150 people also in Afghanistan. Mm. Um, so it's, it's not a great day mm -hmm. in history, but, you know, something to remember, you know, and it makes me also reflect on what we here in Nigeria have also had to deal with with regards insecurity and, and insurgency and terrorist attacks um, um, over time. You know, it's a lot less now, you know, I would say maybe it has been transformed into a different um, a manner of terrorism, kidnapping and banditry and, when, you know, however else you can describe it. But, you know, at some point, we also, you know, had to deal with things like this. Um, and so it will go down in history as one of the very, very terrible moments in Afghanistan's history. And, um, you know, also make, make you reflect on what the Taliban and Al-Qaeda and those terrorist organizations, the atrocities that they have committed because of their personal beliefs and because of their hatred for, you know, a certain you know, group of people um, have done over time. So, yes, today, January 20th in 2018, uh, four or five gunmen attacked the Intercontinental Hotel in Afghanistan. Uh, that's all we have uh, for you today in history. Um, once again, like I would always say, make history today. Uh, let's tell your story, maybe sometime five years from now, maybe two years from now. Um, it doesn't matter, but make history somehow, some way uh, that you can. Yes, and we can't wait to dive into the next segment on The Breakfast. So stick around for that one.